Hello and welcome to today's tutorial on 3D drawing and CAD. Please hit the subscribe button and like this video if you enjoy the content. Um, today we'll, what we're going to be looking at is drawing using some basic functions about drawing rectangles and the object of today is to end up with a very basic looking relay cabinet. So first of all, uh, as you can see in the middle, I've got the origin set up. The first, first thing we need to do is to start a new drawing. So over towards the top left, we're going to do create sketch. Um, we click on the button and then we're going to select the plane to draw on. I'm going to select on this first plane here. And you can see the sketch automatically spins around. So we're now looking at it face on. We're going to be using um, the rectangle tool today, two point rectangle. So we're going to select two point rectangle going to zoom into the origin a little bit. This is the origin down here at the bottom. Remember this the circle here is a zero point. We're going to click on it to place the first point and then we're going to drag across. And as you can drag across, you see the lines become drawn. We're also getting two boxes which are highlighting dimensions. Once we've dragged it to a rough size that we want, we can then start to type in some dimensions that we want. So the height wise, we're going to say on the Z, it's going to be eight millimeters and you can see as I've typed in eight it's then become uh, locked with a little keypad and then going to tab across to the X dimension and we're going to again create that as eight millimeters and then once we've done that hit enter we've now got a, a black box drawn here um, going to turn the origin off because we no longer need to be able to see that so when the box becomes black all the way around the outside we know that we've got a fully divide, de defined drawing um, which is good because then when we edit it if we have to in the future we know that everything's going to come back to a um, reference position. And the next thing we need to do is turn this 2D box into a 3D cube. So if we go into the middle you can see that as we come into the middle the center changes color slightly. I'm going to right click and then come down to extrude using the blue icon and select that. We then get a, a pop up here with an extrude coming on. Um, the profile is the square that we've just drawn. So that's the profile plane. Um, we're going to start profile plane is going to be where we're going to drag the extrusion from. We're going to extrude it in one direction and we're going to extrude it to a distance. Okay. So if we now spin the view around using the arrows, you can see now we've got an arrow that's come up. We can click on that arrow using the left mouse button and then we can drag out the extrusion to the distance that we require. I'm going to have it as three millimeters. You can just type in here directly three millimeters and it will automatically go to that, that distance. Once we're happy with that, we click on OK. We've now got our first rectangular shape. So to take it a little bit further than that, all we've got is a rectangle. We're going to add some doors onto the front. So again, we're going to go over to the new create sketch. The plane this time, what we're going to use is the front of the cube that we've just selected. So we can ignore this origin that's becoming highlighted here. We're going to click on that front plane. And then again, we're going to go up to the top here, rectangle, two point rectangle, and we're going to draw two of them on this front pane. Okay, and now I'm not worried about dimensions at the moment. And as you can see, because I've not dimensioned it, the drawing is now blue rather than black. And remember what I said at the beginning, we always want, if possible, to turn any blue lines into black lines. So I'm gonna come up to the top here and I'm gonna create sketch dimensions. And then I'm gonna dimension these two rectangles I've just drawn. So what I'm going to do is go top edge of this drawing to the top edge of the cube. I'm going to drag that across. You can see now I've got a dimension coming out the side. Once I click again on that, I can then define the dimension I want from top of that rectangle to the top of our box here. So I'm going to define that as 0.4 millimeters. I'm going to do the same to the bottom edge. That's now also going to be 0.4 millimeters. I can then do the same on the other side. So all of our rectangles are now 
the same height. Now, if I wanted to go back and change that, say I've made a mistake and I wanted that and that, I'd actually wanted 0.5 at the bottom, what I do is just double click on that dimension and go back in and change it. Nice and simple. Okay, so next I'm going to define the two side edges to the outside of the box. Again, dragging those out. I'm going to define those as 0.4 millimeters again. 0.4 millimeters from that side. Once I've done that, I can then define the distance between them in the middle as 0.4. What we've then got as the issue is it's dragged across one of the rectangles and just put 0.4 between the two, but we haven't got a defined distance from the, the, the edges to the center point. So I'm going to select the top of the first rectangle here, and that's now coming up as 2.52 millimeters. Now, if we do a bit quick maths, we've done eight millimeters across, and we've got 1.2 millimeters of gaps. So we've got um, 6.8 millimeters that needs to be divided equally between the two rectangles. So if we just to find that as 3.4, that then puts this center centered on the rectangle. Then if we press escape, you can see that the mouse will then change from the icon it has back to a normal arrow. I can then go back and highlight by pressing the shift and clicking on the two rectangles we've just drawn. Right click, extrude, and again you can pivot around so you can see what we're extruding. We can drag that arrow out the distance we want, or just define in the box a distance of 0.3 millimeters. We've then got the two doors on the front of our relay cabinet. Very, very basic looking relay cabinet. So what we're now going to do is add in a couple of hinges each side. So again, we'll come up to the create sketch at the top. We're going to create the sketch on the plane that's the face of the relay cabinet, not on the doors. So if we click on that. What we're then going to do is again we're going to use the two pointed rectangles and we're going to zoom in a little bit more and we're just going to draw on two rectangles again i'm not going to define the size at the moment i'm just going to draw them on to there okay so i'm now going to define using my sketch dimensions at the top here distance from that edge to the edge of the box as 0.5 two millimeters i do the same with the bottom one 0.2 millimeters there okay i'm then going to define from the top edge to the very top of the relay cabinet as one millimeter and the same on the bottom hinge that's also going to be one millimeter so now we know that their heights are the same and their distance from the edge of the box is the same we now need to define the actual height of each hinge so i'm going to define that as 0.5 millimeters and that one is 0.5 millimeters now we can see the last one we need to define is the distance from the edge of the hinge to the edge that will be on top of the door as it's still blue all we've got to do then is highlight the bottom edge drag it out and we'll call it 1.2 millimeters and the same there 1.2 millimeters then if we zoom in a little bit we can select as you see as, as i've selected that one all it's done is this little box here if i hover over the top holding shift still hover over the top of the door click on click and hold the left mouse button i then get a little pop-up that says face, profile, and face. And you can see that the extra little bit we want is the profile. So we just click on that. Do the same at the bottom one. So holding shift still, click that first box, hold shift down on the center of the drawing, click that profile, and then we can do right click, extrude, and then we're going to extrude that out. It needs to be a little bit further than the initial door. We're going to tell it to join so it's, we've extruded 0.4 millimeters to give us some sort of reference and now we've got a hinge on the, this side door we'll do the same on the other door so 
create a sketch, select the back profile, and then we're going to draw exactly the same rectangle there, rectangle there. Uh, we're going to define the height from there to there as one millimeter, same top there, one millimeter. And then we do this, the edge to the edge, so 0.2. Edge to edge, 0.2. The height of the hinge, 0.5. 0.5 at the top there, and then the distance it covers the door is 1.2, 1.2. And then again, we need to extrude those, so we're just going to escape to return back to the normal arrow key. Select the profile again, hovering over this one. Holding down the but uh, left mouse button, clicking profile, zooming down to the bottom, select, holding shift again, selecting that one, over this one, holding left mouse button, profile, right click, extrude. Now we extruded the distance out to 0.4 millimeters again. We're going to change the operation to join. We've now got hinges on both sides. So it's nice and simple little relay cabinet there. Um, obviously, we'll go into a bit more detail on some of the other tools that we can use to give this a little bit more detail in future. But that's just how to create a sketch, nice and simply at the top here, and using the two-point rectangle, and then how to dimension that. Again, we can go over here now. I'm going to do File, Save. The location is going to Tutorial, Lesson 1. A box. Hope you enjoyed today's video. Please like and subscribe and come back for future videos where we'll give a little bit more detail to this relay box using some other tools and go into some uh, more tools to make better and more detailed complex models. Thanks. Bye.